In this video, we're going to take a look at a practical difference between shooting a piece of cable with a alligator clips versus a probe. Today we're going to take a look at it in tracker view. First we're going to open up a file of a TDR shot using alligator clips. Here we can see, right at the beginning, the initial pulse is quite a bit rattier than when you're shooting directly onto the cable or with a probe. We can easily see the end of cable at 277 feet, and there's something going on at about 120 feet. So we're going to use cursor 2 to measure to that location, and we took a look at our plant map and noticed that, yeah, we're, there's a tap there. So that's, that's where it should be. But nothing else is really showing up. So next we're going to use the overlay feature on Tracker View to look at a second shot that we did of the same piece of cable from the same location using a probe into the test port of the line extender. So now we have two TDR shots open. The dark is the alligator clips and the lighter one, which we're moving up to take a look at a little bit better, is the shot using the probe. And right away, we can see that there's a difference. It's a much cleaner waveform, much cleaner initial pulse, and there's something going on at about 42 feet. At this point, we can make all the adjustments on tracker view. Change your pulse width, change your vertical gain, change your VOP, anything you need, and it'll affect both the primary waveform and the overlay. The moral of the story, don't use alligator clips. Take a couple extra seconds and get a good connection onto your cable. It'll end up saving you time in the long run. Thanks for watching.